As the great Buddha once wisely proclaimed, life is a journey and the journey is the destination. But have you ever wondered how to navigate this journey to truly take control of your own path? Now, you might think Buddhism and control, isn't it all about letting go? Well, hold on to your lotus position, because while Buddhism emphasizes acceptance, it also empowers you to be the driver of your own karmic bus. So, buckle up and let's explore seven ways to take control. 1. Tame the monkey mind. In the words of Buddha, it is a man's own mind, not his enemy or foe, that lures him to evil ways. Imagine your mind as an energetic, playful monkey. This monkey, symbolizing our thought process, is always in motion, leaping from one thought or idea to another. This constant activity is fueled by our desires, worries, and the incessant internal chatter that we all experience. In this analogy, each branch represents a different thought or memory, and our mental monkey swings from one to the next, never finding a moment of stillness. It's a vivid depicting of the restlessness that often characterizes our minds as we grapple with thoughts about the past and concerns about the future, rarely pausing in the present moment. Here, Buddhism offers a powerful tool, mindfulness. This practice can be likened to a ripe, appealing fruit that captures the monkey's attention, encouraging it to pause and savor the moment. Through mindfulness and meditation, we learn to gently guide our thoughts, bringing our focus back to a single point whenever we find our mind wandering. This isn't about forcefully controlling our thoughts, rather it's about observing them with a sense of detachment and calm. As we engage in regular mindfulness practice, we start to notice a change in our mental monkey. It begins to slow down, choosing its branches with more care, finding value in stillness. We train it to enjoy the present, to dwell less on incessantly seeking the next thought or worry. This transformation doesn't occur overnight, but evolves gradually with consistent practice. Eventually, our mind, once a restless monkey, becomes a serene and supportive companion. It learns the art of being present, finding peace and contentment in the here and now, rather than being constantly lured away by every fleeting thought or impulse. This newfound calmness and focus are not just beneficial for our mental well-being, but also enhance our ability to navigate life with clarity and purpose. 2. Break the chains of karma. Have you ever felt like you're trapped in a never-ending cycle of events, almost as if you're being controlled by the consequences of your past actions? It's a sensation many of us can relate to, and it's akin to feeling like we're mere puppets with our past actions pulling the strings of our present and future. But let's delve deeper into the profound teachings of Gautama Buddha, who once said, just as a snake sheds its skin, we must shed our past over and over again. In the context of Buddhism, karma is not a punitive force. Instead, it's a profound concept that revolves around the ideas of learning, evolution, and personal responsibility. Imagine every choice you make, every intention you hold, as planting seeds in the fertile soil of your life. These seeds then grow and bear fruit, shaping your future experiences and circumstances. It's a bit like tending to a garden. Now, here's the real essence. Take control of your present moment. By choosing kindness in your actions and cultivating compassion in your heart, you actively influence the type of seeds you plant in your karmic garden. As you consistently make choices aligned with these positive qualities, you'll begin to witness a remarkable transformation in your life. Your karmic garden will start to blossom and flourish into a life that you consciously shape and create. Breaking the chains of karma means embracing the incredible power of your choices and intentions to shape a brighter and more fulfilling future. It's about understanding that you have the agency to sow seeds of positivity and compassion, 
ultimately reaping the rewards of a life that reflects your conscious decisions. 3. Ditch the cravings. Find true desire. In our daily lives, we often find ourselves pursuing pleasure, wealth, and social status, believing that these external achievements will bring us lasting happiness and fulfillment. However, according to Buddhist wisdom, these cravings for external validation and material possessions are like mirages in the desert, deceiving us into thinking they can satisfy the deep-seated void within us. To better understand this concept, consider a Zen proverb that encourages us to let go over a cliff, die completely, and then come back to life. After that, you cannot be deceived. This metaphorical journey signifies the need to detach from our relentless pursuit of external desires and superficial pleasures. It's about letting go of our attachment to these fleeting cravings, experiencing a profound transformation within ourselves, and then returning to life with a newfound clarity. Buddhism teaches that the true source of satisfaction and lasting joy lies not in the accumulation of material possessions or the pursuit of temporary pleasures. Instead, it invites us to turn inward and explore our inner world. Through practices like generosity, where we share our resources and kindness with others, and contentment, which involves finding contentment with what we have, we begin to uncover a wellspring of joy that emanates from our own hearts. It's like discovering a hidden treasure chest of happiness within ourselves that no external thing can ever truly quench. By ditching our cravings for external validation and finding true desire within, we embark on a journey towards genuine contentment and fulfillment in our lives. 4. See with non-judgmental eyes. Buddha's profound teachings guide us. Do not judge and you will never be mistaken. What this means is that making quick judgments about people, situations, or even our own thoughts can often lead to misunderstandings and mistakes. Our biases, like tinted glasses, color how we see the world, making it appear distorted. Imagine looking through a pair of sunglasses that make everything seem either overly bright or too dark. This is how our biases can affect our perception, they limit our choices because we tend to favor what aliens with our preconceived notions and reject what doesn't. This can lead to negativity and conflict in our interactions with others. Now, here's where Buddhism comes in with a powerful concept, non-judgmental awareness. Think of it as putting on magic glasses that allow you to see the world without the distortions of judgment. With non-judgmental awareness, we practice observing our thoughts and emotions without immediately labeling them as good or bad. This practice opens our minds to new possibilities and helps us see the world with clearer eyes. So instead of automatically reacting to situations based on our biases, we learn to pause, observe and understand. This enables us to make more informed and compassionate choices, fostering greater harmony in our relationships and a deeper understanding of the world around us. 5. Silence the inner critic. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where there's a harsh voice in your head constantly judging and belittling you? That voice is what we often refer to as our inner critic. It's that nagging self-doubt that can chip away at our self-esteem and hold us back. But here's the thing, according to the wisdom of Buddha, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. This quote is a powerful reminder that we should treat ourselves with the same kindness and compassion that we extend to others. In Buddhism, there's a profound concept known as loving-kindness, or metta. It's about cultivating a deep sense of love and goodwill, not only towards others, but crucially, towards ourselves. Imagine being your own best friend, offering understanding and forgiveness, even when you make mistakes. 
This practice involves embracing self-acceptance, acknowledging that you're human and imperfect, just like everyone else. By adopting a mindset of self-compassion and self-love, we can silence the critic's negativity that often holds us back. Instead of being our own harshest critic, we become our own greatest supporter. This shift in perspective empowers our inner champion, allowing us to face challenges with confidence, make positive changes in our lives, and ultimately, find greater peace and happiness within ourselves. So, the next time that inner critic starts its relentless chatter, remember that you deserve your own love and affection. Embrace the teachings of Buddhism, practice loving-kindness towards yourself, and watch as your inner champion emerges to guide you towards a more fulfilling and empowered life. 6. Embrace Impermanence Imagine holding on to something tightly, like a favorite toy or a cherished memory. It's natural to want to keep things we love close to us, whether they are material possessions or emotional attachments. However, Buddhism teaches us an essential lesson about life Everything is constantly changing. The Buddha's analogy beautifully captures this idea. He compares our existence to the fleeting nature of autumn clouds, the graceful dance of beings being born and passing away, and a lifetime that's as brief as a lightning flash in the sky or a rushing stream down a steep mountain. What this means is that nothing in life remains the same forever. Just as the seasons change, our circumstances our relationships, and even our own selves are subject to change. When we resist this natural flow of change, it can lead to fear, anxiety, and suffering. But here's the profound wisdom in embracing impermanence. When we let go of our tight grip on things, when we accept that change is an inherent part of life, we can navigate life's ups and downs with a sense of calm and grace. It's like becoming a skilled surfer, riding the waves of life with balance and composure. In practical terms, embracing impermanence encourages us to appreciate the beauty of each moment without clinging to it, to let go of attachments that cause suffering, and to find peace in the knowledge that change is a constant, allowing us to adapt and grow with the tides of life. 7. Cultivate the Noble Eightfold Path when we reach this point, it's important to recognize that the journey towards taking control of your life through Buddhism is not a quick fix. It's a lifelong commitment. As Buddha wisely stated, just as a candle cannot burn without fire, men cannot live without a spiritual life. This profound statement emphasizes the significance of spirituality in our existence. The Noble Eightfold Path serves as a valuable roadmap on this journey. Think of it as a set of guidelines that lead you towards a life of greater wisdom, ethical conduct, and a calm, focused mind. It's not something you can master overnight. Rather, it's a daily practice, much like tending a garden. Imagine each step on the Eightfold Path as a seed that you plant and nurture. These seeds represent qualities such as right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. By nurturing these qualities daily, you cultivate a sense of control over your thoughts, actions, and ultimately, your destiny. Much like tending a garden, it requires patience, dedication, and consistent effort. Just as a gardener cares for their plants, you care for the virtues and wisdom within you. As they grow and flourish, they empower you to lead a life that is not only guided by conscious choices, but also aligned with the principles of Buddhism, ultimately leading to a greater sense of control and fulfillment. So, there you have it. Seven Buddhist-inspired ways to take control of your life. It's important to understand that control in this context doesn't mean trying to dominate everything around you. Instead, it's about finding a sense of conscious direction in your life's journey. Imagine yourself as the author of your own story, 
where you have the power to shape your narrative. To do this, start by choosing kindness as a guiding principle in your interactions with others and yourself. Treat yourself and those around you with compassion and empathy. Embrace change as a natural part of life. Just like seasons change, our lives do too. Instead of resisting change, learn to flow with it. This acceptance of change is a path to finding inner peace and contentment. And in this process, you'll discover a sense of liberation within yourself. It's the freedom to be your authentic self, unburdened by self-doubt or the expectations of others. Now, armed with these insights, go forth and conquer your monkey mind, which represents the restless and wandering thoughts we all have. Train your mind to be your ally, guiding you towards your goals. And as you do, carve your own unique path to a life that's truly your own. Remember, it's a journey, and each step you take brings you closer to a more fulfilled and purposeful life. So until next time, keep exploring the boundless possibilities of your own potential.